Hi guys! We're unboxing a motherboard MSI B450A Pro Max. It is part of the Pro series and it is Max and it is Ryzen 3000 desktop ready. Of course, because this is the updated series that MSI launched around the time that Ryzen 3000 got announced last year to have support, native support for them with a larger BIOS chip. Let's see on the back and let's see what's inside. And inside is of course a motherboard. What else do we have here? Backplate, SATA cables, what's this? It's some kind of badge, though it looks silvery, it is in fact plastic. MSI, True Gaming, a leaflet with some stuff from MSI. Useless driver disk. Thank you for choosing MSI product. Okay. Screws for M2. One screw in fact. And installation guides. Okay, we don't need this for now. The motherboard. Okay, so we need to keep case standoffs from these zones. And it's a rather ugly brown color. And the motherboard itself is somewhat thin. So, one, two, three, four USB 3 point something connectors, uh, HDMI, DVI, VGA. If you so use some old monitor, two presumably USB 2.0 ports, a PS2 port, and this is very important. It is BIOS flashback button, which you can use to flash your BIOS with new one, even if your CPU isn't supported at the moment. So you are not left without an option to install your latest CPU. But you need another computer to download the BIOS first. And of course audio connectors. The audio is LC892 or 897. So not the lowest end, not the highest end. Ooh, we have nice looking Fint radiators. The case is in 4 plus 2 configuration, but it should do nicely for most of AMD processors. We have a total of 6 PCI slots, PCI Express slots, two of which are by 16 physically. And the second one is in fact most likely by 4. One M.2, 4 plus 2 SATA, and of course RAM. CPU fan, 1, 2, 3, 4 system fans. So a rather large assortment of fans and of course more USB connectors and RGB so what is interesting is that at the moment on the side you can find 
a new firmware version which supports the AGISA 1100D with AMD resizable bar function and support of Ryzen 5000 series processors. And the motherboard itself is on the cheap side. It should be around or even below a hundred bucks. But you're losing PCI Express Gen 4, but at the moment it is not that fatal. And of course you can start with a lower end older Ryzen processor and upgrade to the latest. That's it. Bye.